Hello, my name is Sadly and welcome back for another episode of Half Round 3, Black Ice uh, as PRC. So in previous episode we've managed to finally get up a bit of a pocket in here. We destroyed two enemy light infantry divisions, but they've got a lot more troops in here blocking us from reaching the coastline. But at least we destroyed some of the troops and now we'll have a bit more troops maybe available to counterattack in here. They've got some more troops in there though, I reckon, including some fascist militia units. But it's just a matter of time before we can then start pushing through there, I reckon. I suppose the communist militia could help defend in Nungong for a little bit. Although I think that's going to be a fairly easy victory for us in the long term. They got a bit of counterattack going in Lindru, but that is going to be another victory. We should be getting a at least two more recon cavalry. This oh, actually we need a lot more reinforcements there. Uh, two more recon cavalry. Uh, we'll need a bit more wagon regiments, or we will get more wagon regiments rather. We'll also get one of the anti-tank guns and another division HQ. So, slowly but surely, the troops at least will be a bit more combat capable. Not necessarily fully, but like mostly the militias are going to be defending. Ooh, payment received. There we go. We've got a bit of money from all of that. Not much, mind you, but it's better than nothing. We've got the small line factory uh, to three levels total. I think this uh, militia can also push back in here. The infantry division has taken quite a bit of damage in there. Oh, and they're sending another one across the river, luckily, this time around. So now we'll have a minus 85% percent <laughs> um, modifier in there because of that. We've got some more troops heading in here, so we can probably at least delay them for long enough. And of course, once this one gets back into the front line, it will probably keep on pushing uh, directly to Chongqing. And the enemy unit attacking from there will probably either retreat fairly shortly after that or they will shatter one way or the other and nungong we are still well still holding on to the front line we're dealing pretty good damage they got only about a 56 percent penalty from the river crossing so that one's not too bad for them for us of course we are going to start getting some uh, engineers in june but it's going to take a while before we get all of them but there we go now they're attacking or counter-attacking Chongqing has started and they've got the fascist volunteers and luzhun oh there we go so we lost 2500 men they lost six 6 tal Olsen. So yeah, that's not too bad. And now we can go ahead and get some more reinforcements. Hopefully for the troops. Lindra is still under attack, although that enemy unit over there is not really in a good shape. Go ahead and attack there. You can give support attack. So this time around, we will win this, I reckon. That was not really a, much of a, a fighting unit yet, admittedly. Ah, there we go. Now we've got some more troops in here. So I think we'll be able to hold the back or enemy back on the other side of the river there. Oh, there's no proper defenders in there right now. There's a recon cavalry. Let's have a look. Who should we give that? I suppose we'll give one over here. Because this one needs to be able to hold back enemies quite a bit in there. We'll get another recon cavalry, presumably tomorrow, which we'll probably put in here. So are we dealing the damage? Yeah, we're dealing pretty good damage in here, especially during daytime. Not as much during nighttime, of course, but it'll be fine. It looks like the counterattack is mostly going still fine. We could probably give a bit of support attack from here. It might not do much of a difference, mind you. I suppose we could take... Oh, let's actually go ahead and cut them off at uh, Changshu. If we can. It might not work. I'm going to take the militia down here to provide some support. On the defense, potentially. Oh, and there's the recon cavalry, so we'll go ahead and assign it in here. We could potentially... Die, or we could alternatively look at it from the list of units, but we know where it is going to be, so it's a faster just pop it down on the province itself since the units aren't in combat right now either if they were it would be a bit different uh, case but uh, since they aren't we'll be fine I think what we could do is actually send this ninth division to attack also Chengshu and then there will be a decent bit of troops in here we'll mm, don't get a lot of money so we can probably survive without buying more resources right now but we can send in the infantry division from here to attack across the river as well hopefully there's the wagon regiment. Actually, uh, did we have one in here? I believe we did. The one in Junjing. The 27th. There we go. That gets one. We are going to get another one in tomorrow, actually. So at least the army is getting larger. How much do we have, actually? We've got 132,000 men in our army total. It's not a lot. I believe the enemy's got at least, like, five times as much. Uh, admittedly, a lot of their troops are contrips, and they are not really all that strong. Ooh, they are sending more troops down here. Seems like there's going to be another light infantry division possibly heading in here. 
It's a wagon regiment. I suppose we could give one for the unit in Jangu. Wait, which one is this? 25th. That one. There we go. It won't directly give it. Oh, there we go. Nandong, another victory. We lost 1,100 men. They lost almost 10,000. That's pretty decent. Go ahead and attack in here. We've got quite a penalty for the river crossing, but I think we'll be mostly fine. And we do need a bit more consumer goods. Put an extra point there. So we should be able to win this combat hopefully soon. And I don't know how long this one's going to take to get in here, mind you. There is mountains. As long as it, they don't send more infantry in there, which is probably something that they are trying to do right now, uh, we might be able to defeat them. If they do send more troops there, then we might be in trouble. But uh, one way or the other, we at least are distracting them in the central front now. We've got still quite a bit of troops up here. Now the attack across the river going slowly. Well, there we go. There's a victory. Now, of course, we're moving very slowly in there. Oh, they did get someone in there, but they must have retreated immediately. And one of them is retreating into the to-be-formed pocket. That's actually quite handy. In fact, it's very handy. Now, the enemy infantry division over here in Tongjia is uh, down to four organization. That'll probably give up soon enough. Uh, we could probably give a bit of support attack with the infantry division in here. It has regained some strength already. The faster we can push out the enemy from there, the better. Well, there we go. Now we've got a lot more reinforcements in the combat. So as soon as daytime locally, we'll probably be able to push back the light infantry division. And also, we are making some headway over here. They're down to 14 organizations defending there. So if we can get across the river, cut them off there, and then destroy the enemy units one way or the other in here, in Tianjin, Beijing, and Tongxin, and Jinghai, what we'll probably need to do is let them take some land in here. We'll cut them off and destroy them one at a time, or a few at a time. Oh, there we go. Linru was under attack, but we've got a victory there. This one's slowly still pushing forward. So Changshu is the only combat ongoing right now, which does mean that we can get a bit more reinforcing going on. And we are taking that one soon enough. Uh, the militia is... Okay, it's uh, here now, so that will provide some defensiveness in case they try to cut off uh, or push into Heijian. Oh, there we go. That's a victory. So did I send both of these? Th I did. Okay, good. Hmm... Money for supplies? Nah, I think we're fine on supplies. We've got 8,000. That'll be good enough for now. We've got two units over there. Hmm. We need to get a little bit... Oh, there we go. Oh, they got quite a bit of troops in uh, Tianjin. They are moving quite a bit of troops away down to Jinghai now that they realise that they are getting cut off. At least we're trying to cut them off. Whether we will manage it or not remains to be seen. So we've got an infantry division over here that is not busy. Uh, we've got it's the only planes that we'd be defending at, but we could probably go ahead and charge it. Well, I suppose that one's busy right now, isn't it? We could also move it down south to allow us to clear out this. There's now oh, they got one of the light infantry divisions up here. Oh, so that would be an option. Move down there, or we could try to cut across the river, maybe through here. Or just put, no, that's got light infantry in there, so that's not going to happen. But I'm going to move it up north and try to cut off some uh, areas in here. And one way or the other, get some more terrain for us. It is already mid... Oh, actually, that reminds me. We still had the officer recruitment at uh, two leadership. But we can probably reduce that to at least... Uh, we'll go back to one and a half. That'll be good enough for now. It means we can do a bit more research. We should also be getting some more... Yeah, we'll get the AT regiment soon enough. That will go to another one of the actual divisions, though, at this point, just to provide them a bit more combat capabilities. Oh, they got a second unit in here. Well, I suppose this one's going to cut across to Yunjeng, hopefully. And then if we get a, a bridgehead over here, we can then use that to expand the uh, area here and then cut them off over there one way or the other. Now, of course, ideally, I'm kind of hoping that they would actually move some of the troops away from here, so clearing out the pocket is not going to be quite as much of a pain in the butt. But one way or the other, we shall prevail, and I think... Okay, that one's not gaining organization quite yet. Wilson is still in combat. This pocket will be formed soon. They'll probably try to attack one of the... or both of these, probably. And for that, actually, I'm going to do something and send this one up here. Redeploy. And maybe we can send it into Xunjiang. 
as well, but that might be a little bit longer. Okay, so the attack... Oh! Yeah, Zheng is now under attack by several units. But they didn't uh, continue to attack. Okay, good. Still in, dealing some damage to the Contrib units in here. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a whole lot of units trying to attack in there. Is that including the ones on Luoyang? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. So these two are going to attack. That's going to give a support attack. I'll destroy the enemy in the pockets. First and foremost, because those are in two combats right now. I think a lot of the enemy units are having... Well, they're not really joined into the combat yet. The terrain modifiers are pretty rough on them. Minus 75%. But they will push us out of there at some point. So the idea is that we'll use this to destroy the enemy units in here. Maybe give up the province there and then we'll retake it later. But one way or the other we can deal with some damage at least over here. That one's going to be a bit of rough defense over here I reckon. We might need to send in one of the units from here to aid in the defense. It looks like this one's going to be a victory. Ah, oh, we got the anti-tank gun. Let's see, who doesn't have one yet? One in Tongxian doesn't have one. Linru doesn't have one yet either. Actually, that should probably get an anti-tank gun. Because that will probably have to defend against some armored units sooner or later. And if we have it now, we don't need to worry about it later. Okay, we push another contrib unit away from uh, Chengchu. Hopefully we can get in there soon enough. I've only got one militia defending in here, mind you. That's going to be a bit rough. There's not too much defenders in Tianjin. Hmm. We'll move this unit down here, and in about a month we should get our first engineer unit. We've got three attacks and two defenses. Now, admittedly, the one in the mountains in here is going to be a bit rough. They've got tanks attacking already and all that. So we'll probably need to give that up. Oh, but we did already destroy one of the contracts. And the light infantry division over here will be... Well, it's a German-trained Dudu, so it's um, not really a full... Or, well, it's not a full-on division. But regardless, if we can destroy that one, that will be yet another unit that they won't have anymore. See if wants to buy some of our metal, which I'm okay with, to be fair. I'm going to keep two units over here for now. I'm hoping that we could cut them off at Tianjin and then destroy the enemies in Beijing and Jinghai once we get all of this uh, going. But we'll see what happens initially. As soon as we get across the river, really. That's the main uh, big thing. Oh, there we go. Victory at Changchu again. We should be there very shortly. And then they're probably going to start attacking in there, but we'll have two divisions defending. And this pocket is uh, hopefully soon dealt with. At least we destroyed one unit. Uh, this one is not going to hold much longer. We'll just let this uh, dig in for now. Although, I suppose, actually. I'll go ahead and give this a headquarters. A bit more reinforcements needed. There we go. Now they're attacking from Jinghai, mostly. What I'm thinking is I'm going to try to attack into Tianjin. It's not that strong defenders in there, but it is urban, so it's going to be a bit rough terrain. We've got a little bit of ships outside in here, so we'll get a bit of penalty from that, but it's not too bad. Need little reinforcements. Yeah, this should be fairly easy defense. There we go. Now they've got two divisions defending. This is going to be a pretty much guaranteed victory, let's be honest. Oh, well, there we go. We destroyed the enemies in Luoyang. Very good. We'll get the troops in there. Uh, so I'm guessing we could probably go ahead and retreat this one soon enough. Let it uh, stay in the combat for a little bit longer. So once it's uh, down to five organizations or something like that, we'll start retreating to uh, Jangu. Across the river once again. So that's going to be at least a safe location to hold on to. Yeah, we're going to be losing that very shortly. Hey, motorcycle recon unit formation. There we go. That might be one of our first technologies that we research. Okay, I think it's time to retreat. We lost 1,000 men. They lost uh, 600. But at least we took this one and destroy a unit in the pocket. Oh, now they're attacking across the... Well, they were trying to attack across the river there, but I think the tanks are attacking into... Is that mountains, actually? Eh, hills. But hills across the river with our engineers, that's probably going to be a very bad idea. Oh, they're now moving a lot more troops uh, into Tianjin. To be fair, what I could do... Send the Mountaineer in here. Keep the only busy in there. I mean, some of them might retreat already. But if not, we'll keep them busy there. And if they do retreat, they won't have a lot of uh, organization. And otherwise, they won't be able to reinforce in here. At least for a while. 
and thus we might be able to get Tianjin and then uh, destroy the enemy units in the pocket there and then destroy the enemy units in Beijing and then start pushing further along here. It won't be easy, mind you, but it's possible. I'm going to move in this one to Linru just so that we've got a bit more troops at, uh, assisting in here and then the infantry division can uh, move about a bit more. Ooh, there's the 80 regiments. Uh, right. I guess we'll give that uh, that is attacking across the river already. It's not necessarily the best uh, place for that. Nandong, do we have... Oh, right, actually, no, both of these already have anti-tank guns. There's the one over there, and I suppose the Nongong one doesn't have an anti-tank gun yet. Let's get it in there and provide some more bonus. Oh, Chongzhen is now under attack from Beijing. Not for long, mind you. Oh, there's the Contrib Division already retreating from here, so that's probably very low on organization. Not too worried about that one. And if we can keep the... Or if we can destroy the enemy infantry in here as well. One way or the other. We'll have a fairly decent uh, chance of pushing them away from there. We'll keep the infantry division digging in in Changchu. Just so that uh, we got someone that is able to defend for a while and hold the enemy back. Well, speak of the devil. They're now doing a counterattack, Which means that the mounting is going to be taking a little bit more casualties. The enemy here in Beijing is only doing a very small probing attacks, but they're not dealing much damage to us. They're actually taking more damage than they're dealing to us. Let's see, do we have any units that have uh, the cavalry or the logistics unit, but no division HQ yet? I uh, don't think so of the ones that we have in here. It's going to double check. No, not really. I mean, that one maybe. Yeah, okay, so what I can do is I can actually just put it in here. Could actually assign it into the division for the time being. And once this one's retreated, we can switch it into the other unit. Oh, they've got the tanks in there right now. All right, then. That defense is seemingly holding. The other hand over here, we've taken quite a bit of losses. How's the reinforcements? We do need a bit more. Luyang is under attack. Oh, that's the end. Oh... Right then, well, the infantry division can uh, do a bit of a spoiling attack. Probably wreck the enemy. They've got multiple combat penalty in there, so... If we can just hold on for a while... Oh, there goes Abyssinia. That does mean that we'll get our surviving militia soon enough. How's the battle in Beijing? They're looting the organization fairly quickly. At least the contract is. Oh, and did we... Oh, there we go. We may have pushed the militia out of there as well. Into Tianjin. So there's a good chance that we will break through here. Especially in the oh, small arms advance. There we go. That's actually really handy. We can cancel that one from the... I'll take that off the list now. And the branch upgrades will hopefully be available soon. We we'll just need a few more research for those. It looks like the Mountaineer is taking pretty hefty catalysts in here. I suppose the Militia could give a bit of a hand in this combat. It's probably not going to deal a lot of damage, if at all. But every little... If it soaks even some of the damage that the enemy is dealing to us uh, in there... Oh yeah, we got... 1% attack modifier during daytime. Not a lot. Oh, there we go. Victory at Liaxing. And the attack across the river is still ongoing. It's not really going all that well, mind you, but it's going. How's the counterattack in here? Oh, they got a lot of troops in there. But the enemy armor is at least losing organization. Although we're losing some of that as well. I think... Oh, right. There we go. Let's go ahead and shuffle the division HQ to the other unit. Which is hopefully starting to get some organization back. And there's the Wagon Regiment. Uh, let's see, who doesn't have one yet? That one's got one. I, mean, I suppose this one doesn't have any. That one is under attack by enemy tanks already. Well, they've got over 100% penalty for the river crossing penalty. So it's probably not going to deal much damage there. Ooh, that Mountaineer is looking pretty rough. And how are the units in here? Oh, they've got some more troops in there. Okay. We may need to start planning for a potential um, pocketing in here, or repeat pocketing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Mountaineer out of that combat and send it in here. And then as soon as that is in the combat, actually, we can already cancel this one. I'm going to retreat this so it can reinforce. We've got another wagon regiment. Another wagon regiment over here, and that uh, enemy armored unit is probably not going to deal much damage. The infantry over here is uh, looking a bit rough. And we're keeping the enemy busy, at least in here. We might get through there, we might not. I'm not entirely sure. They've got a lot of troops in there, so what we might need to do is uh, maybe let them move some troops away from here. 
I mean, we're probably going to lose the crossing point in here for a little while at least. We shall return though. We shall return. It's currently June, so we are going to get some engineers soon. It's only one regiment, mind you, so it's not going to really be a game changer, mind you, but uh, a little bit better than nothing. Oh, there we go. Now we can build industries, and that unlocks some more research uh, in the construction section. So well, the industry we definitely want to put in, and the advanced construction engineering. I'll go ahead and put both of those to the top of the list. The partner suppression is something that we're going to actually cancel for now. That's next year's research. We've got quite a bit of research ongoing. But we have lost some of the extra manpower of the leadership now at the end of uh, May, so that's a bit of a problem. I'm going to go ahead and stop that attack into the engine. It is not going too well, and now they're doing counterattack. Well, they were doing counterattack. Lots and lots of counterattacks, actually. They're not really making headway over there. And this one's going to have to retreat probably soon enough. The militia is going to have to pull back from that combat. So I think we'll just go ahead and... Well, I suppose we can keep this going for a little bit, but no. We'll just go ahead and cancel that. And we'll go ahead and retreat from there. I might regret this, mind you, but uh, I think that's going to be the better option to not lose too much strength. We're still trying to push across the river in here. We haven't made that much a headway there yet. Oh, propaganda fails level 2. Okay, that means a bit more consuming is required. And a lot more reinforcements, actually. Yeah, we'll just need to hold on to the area there. Hong Chung is, uh, well, under attack quite frequently. I'm actually hoping that they'll move some of these troops away from the Beijing area, and then we're going to cut them off again and destroy them a bit easier. I'm going to have to pull back this one as well. We could have probably gotten through there, but it's uh, going to be a lot of uh, losses, and there's going to be counterattacks happening in here soon enough, I reckon. So we'll let that be. All right, they've retaken it. We need a bit more uh, reinforcements. Do that one. Uh, this one, okay. The enemy tank unit over here is almost done with, or dealt with. We can go ahead and send in another unit to join in that combat. Ah, the survivors have returned. Infantry unit training and all that. Let's go ahead and get the survivor militia to the top of the list. It won't be much of a combat unit, mind you, but it will have some experience. And what we can do with that is we can start turning it into a, I don't know, maybe a light infantry division or something. That could probably be quite handy. There we go. So the troops are getting across the river. And the enemies are pushing uh, or retreating some of these units at least. Just mean that Beijing might be possible to retake. Oh, there we go. The breakthrough advance and human waves. So the infantry is going to be slightly cheaper. This is five militia now. I'm going to go ahead and put it into Barding. And sign it under... Okay, hmm. Probably doesn't matter too much. I'm going to go ahead and start upgrading this to light infantry already. And we'll push that back to the top of the list. That will be done in September. We'll need to build that into a proper division as well, but that's uh, going to take a while. Ah, there we go. We're going to get the Engineer Regiment tomorrow. Other divisions over here, they've got two divisions attacking. A decent crossing penalty, but it's not the best. I'm going to send the Militia to support that. And the surviving militia won't be doing anything for a while, but didn't we, we were supposed to get the engineer. Oh, we got delayed by a little bit there. All right then, well, tomorrow we'll have that. I hope. We might also need a bit more leadership in the auto recruitment. But that back to one and a half uh, leadership. It looks like the counterattack into Zhongxian is uh, going mostly according to plan. So once this is over, we can also attack from here. That'll be quite handy. Oh, and there we go. Lu Yang is was a victory. Go ahead and get the engineer. Uh, so who's going to get the engineer, actually? Probably one of the divisions in here. Probably the infantry division. Actually, that one's got the anti-tank guns already, so that will get it. But the mountaineers got some uh, mountain or engineers now. Here's the thing, though. Beijing is not defended by that much troops. So potentially what we could do is we could send this one out here to Yunjing. And then with some troops uh, from both Chongjian and Yunjing, we're going to attack into Beijing. Hopefully push them back quickly enough. It might not work, mind you. they got a lot of troops defending the coastline over here again. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. And this defense is uh, not looking too strong yet. Go ahead and send this one into combat. Ooh, cavalry exploitation. So especially for us, the recon cavalry gets a bit more Plains Desert Highlands and Highland Desert attack and movement. 
It may not be much, but it is better than nothing. And now we've got the envelopment penalty for the enemy in here. So we will be pushing these back soon enough. Now we're looking on reinforcements. We need a bit more, actually. And we've got the first engineer, but I suppose we could actually push that a bit higher. So we'll focus on getting another engineer sooner rather than later. And of course, we're putting quite a bit of uh, IC on reinforcements right now. We've had quite a bit of casualties overall with the battles around Beijing. We've managed to destroy at least some enemy divisions in various pockets. So I'm somewhat happy with that. At least it reduces the enemy troops and it will take some time for them to rebuild. But of course, there's only two like actual divisions that we destroy. Everything else has been like um, uh, militia police and con ships and all that sort of stuff. So it's not really all that great. But definitely could be worse. Oh, there we go. Artillery unit training, command and control. And die fire unit training and command and control. There we go, we're getting a little bit more uh, morale and organization for the troops. I think it might be time for have these troops attack. Uh, the mountain can give a bit of support attack in there to Beijing. And with these three units, I think we can deal a pretty good damage on the enemy, even though they're defending in urban territory. And I think we'll be able to punch through that for the most part. Also got to be getting some artillery. Maybe we'll give an artillery over here. It might not help with the river crossing penalty, perhaps, because that is still pretty tough, uh, rough, actually. Oh, there we go. Victory at uh, Xiang So we'll go ahead and send the infantry in there for now, until we've uh, sorted out the situation there. This one could also maybe join into that one. Although maybe we'll just let it uh, regain some organization first. So we'll take that one. We can then start pushing it out a little bit further in here. Then maybe start... One way or the other, we need to start making our way towards uh, Nanjing already. Oh, there we go. Infantry anti-tank weapons. That's uh, a step forward. Actually, that's a step forward that we could go ha and uh, push that back to the top of the list. Get that research going. The faster we get the proper infantry units, the better. We're under attack over here briefly, but I think this is going to be quite an easy victory. We haven't got any armor or anything like that. They got uh, only 66% penalty for the river crossing. Speaking of which, I'm guessing the mountain... Oh yeah, the mountain has got a fairly good attack in there. Ooh, there we go. Basic training advanced level 2. And let's go ahead and give the artillery to 27th. And then I guess this one could go for the unit in Luoyang. The 4th June. Just so that we'll get a little bit more artillery into the front line. Especially in the active front line is going to be very important. We're definitely needing okay damage in here, although I suppose the organization damage on Beijing isn't really that impressive yet. But if we can take that one, and we can then cut off uh, the enemy over here somewhere, or we just, you know, we push into Tianjin and take that one, and we'll cut them off later on. One way or the other, we are, do want to get these two provinces. Those are very important. Not only because of victory points and factories, but also the fact that we don't want uh, to take those all try to take those uh, from Japan because that's going to be very painful oh they got some more armored units in there oh there we go infantry guns advance so did we get the yeah we can go ahead and push that up the list we can get these two up the list as well we can also go ahead and put in the special forces branch upgrade which is mostly for the mountaineers mind you we'll get those underway the enemy's down to less than 60% or, or 60 organization Beijing uh, but I do see that we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also got the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.